Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. Look out for tigers. Uh, what, Tom Nook? Don't worry about it. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you sure? We have to put up barriers before nightfall for the tiger. I mean... Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Normal, safe animal people. R- right. <laughs> <laughs> that boy's gonna die. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody who may or may not be watching. We're playing some more Animal Crossing. Still don't know the full name of this game, but whatever. <laughs> Still got Sam with me. How you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm doing wonderfully. This game is so... It's like chicken noodle soup for the soul right I, now. I know, for my I childhood. love it. It's so adorable. <laughs> and it's so peaceful. Oh. Are we Are we supposed to talk to the little one? I thought we were supposed to talk to Tom when we got back. I don't know. I guess, I mean, he's that is... He's got the bubble yeah. over his head, so, so Timmy... got something helpful. Yeah. I'd appreciate it if you hold on to any weeds you pull up while you're gathering branches. Hey. <laughs> In the near future, we'll want to buy them from you. <gasps> oh. Oh, snap. Should we... We'd, we did Should a we lot. pause the episode and go pick up more weeds? Yeah, that'd probably be wise. All right, pause the episode. <laughs> Running around. And we're back, everybody, and we have 99 clumps of weeds. But a woman ain't one. That's right. All right, so he just says, any tree branches you find on the ground or shake out of trees. Oh, you can shake them out of trees. Uh, Will work just fine for the campfire. Okay. Okay. Helpful. That's cool. I mean, we have enough. I guess, I guess we do have to talk to Tom. Oh, good, good, K. Bissell. It looks like you've managed to collect up the tree branches. Hmm. You found even more than I asked, but we'll take all of them from you. I only need the ten, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. Oh, I thought I thought when you made that joke, they really were going to take all of them from us. I'm just like, oh, come on, no. I'll take what we need off your hands now. After- all right, here you go. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work (laughs) of that. I'm quite glad we'll be sharing this desolated island with such a hard worker. (laughs) (laughs) I do love hard workers. Next, we'll be building the Red October. (laughs) And speaking of surviving on a desolate (laughs) island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like apples, they smell like apples, and they even taste like apples. (laughs) In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine grapes. (laughs) So... (laughs) Oh, what's this? You've already collected enough apples for everyone, haven't you? yeah, I did. Well, 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 I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. Oh, I'm always the right one for the job. They're grapes. I'll go (laughs) ahead and take those off your hands and get started on the preparations. They're grapes. (laughs) These apples are grapes. (laughs) Could you imagine, like, I was kind of hoping he was going to be like, the peaches. (laughs) I know. (laughs) That would have been nice. Whoa, look at that big campfire. Right? Now is that everything? Oh, I hope it's a huge explosion. Yes, yes, I believe it is. <laughs> Let's get started with the festivities. Let's do it. Light the fire. But boom is not as big as I was hoping for, but we yeah. all still clap anyway. Right. At last, allow me to prepare welcome. <laughs> Properly. <laughs> old Tom prepared, has been please. drinking from the old <laughs> saucy grape trees. I have participated in many ventures <laughs> and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch in Jurassic Park will truly <laughs> test my business acumen. <laughs> It's even more exciting than the hunt for the Red October. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're not quite prepared for the skills of an outdoorsman. <laughs> <laughs> now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but I'm sure we can kidnap more. <laughs> but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose it can't call us a deserted island anymore, but we should call it... Oh, we get to pick the name. Humberdink. I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules. Mm. 
So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Please name it the Red October. <laughs> <laughs> when the world of Animal Crossing is welcoming to all, so don't include personal information or offensive words. I don't think Red October is offensive. It was a movie. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was a book. but It, it was, was a book first, a yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a book first. <clears throat> the book was boring, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is everyone ready to quit criticizing my book? <laughs> Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. If everyone says October, I'm gonna <laughs> ready go. Tim Town, Nicktopia, Rock Rock a lot. <laughs> you see Agnes's Rock a lot. Oh, that's good. I know, right? What splendid variety! Yes, yes. Each one a potential gem. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the one you think is best. Kay Bizzle seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming <laughs> sensibilities. Let's start there. Well, my name is Kay Bizzle. Right? So Kay Bizzle suggested the Red October. Oh, we're going to need bigger claps than that. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. <laughs> Each and every one of you <laughs> clapped. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> well, we're going to need more than that. Well, that was an amazing response. <laughs> <laughs> if everyone is in agreement, <laughs> democracy has failed today in pursuit of the communism the Red October stood for. <laughs> oh, my it God. <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. Then from now on, this island will be known as Red October. And I love how it's pink. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, K. Bizzle, <laughs> since you've proven yourself by naming Red October, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions <laughs> we'll be making on this island. <laughs> yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Red October. The RRRO. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the triple R O. <laughs> the same time. Yes. <laughs> K Bizzle, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighborhood? Uh. Oh, do you have a uh, quick and witty mannerism about you, or a uh, very super Superman? Let's go, Reliant. You can Ooh. count on me. Oh, he wasn't a douche about it. <laughs> Hmm, so we've settled on a name for our island and we've selected our resident representative. Our triple R.O. <laughs> it's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Of some of that apple wine I've been making. Are you out of your mind? It's vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone have a beverage in hand. It's fresh juice made from apples of our <laughs> new rep <laughs> resident <laughs> representative harvested on this very island. Maybe we should just call it the double R. Oh, that'd be so much help more helpful. Then without further ado, a toast to the Red October and to the <laughs> happiness of its residents. I don't think that's what the movie or book was about, but... <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> if there were a sequel, it would be. <laughs> 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 One where communism prevailed. <laughs> oh, look, we're back in control. All right. That sure was a lot of tutorial to let me know this is an island simulator. I was going to say, which, uh... A party around a campfire on a deserted island? Wow, now this rocks, novel. <laughs> Thank you, Agnes. <laughs> Still rounding around, sitting around a campfire with cups of juice? It almost feels like we're family. You can call me bro. Rudy's a dude? That, yeah, that Of course Rudy's a dude. The only reason I thought it was a girl is because I thought the name was <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, let's... Well, let's... Let, we'll let this campfire burn for the rest of the night? Jeez, that was so hard for me to read. <laughs> feel free to rest in the tent in your tent if you feel tired. Uh, before you do that, though, there's something we need to give you. Please talk to Mr. Nook about it. You know what? Uh, I want to talk to Tommy. Pretty <laughs> You handled your tasks perfectly. We got a nice campfire going. And All we right, didn't Tommy. even need corpses. Whoa. Uh, Tommy, wait, what? Don't worry. Don't talk to Tommy. Tommy's frightening in the <laughs> nighttime. <laughs> Tommy is haunting. 
<laughs> ah, Kay Bizzle having a good time, yes. Yeah, pretty good time until I talk to Tommy. <laughs> I can imagine. This is a bit much. <laughs> so if you feel like taking a short nap far from Timmy, by all means, run. <laughs> In a direction Tommy. he... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Tom, Timmy's fine. Yeah, Timmy's fine. <laughs> we'll keep the fire burning until Tommy runs away into the woods. Maybe I'll do that. It's probably best. Take a gun. Sounds good to me, but first you'll probably want this, this gun. gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's your very own camping cot. You'll be you'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, we got a cot. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. Mm, just a few that might be useful, and one from Tommy that's a lot like the one from Seven. To oh, open God. packages and use the things inside, <laughs> press A, but not the one Tommy gave you. And when you're ready, you can move L to crawl into bed. Look for Tommy first. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, and so rest up <laughs> as look, much as you look can. Look for Tommy under the bed first. <laughs> <laughs> for the love of God. <laughs> yes, yes. That's all for me now. Good luck, k <laughs> And please pray that Tommy isn't under your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy picks another <laughs> victim. <laughs> what oh, if this all man. became a murder mystery where oh, it's like it's God. clearly Tommy with, with the way you're voicing Tommy I wouldn't deny it <laughs> <laughs> oh what's that oh it's a radio oh, that means the other one's going of Paltrow's head so wait I can't choose where it goes probably be able to pick it up later huh oh oh with X okay Okay. alright so camping cot I want to set that down first no, nice. no, nope. I want it. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, good. It did save. It did give me the option. Mm -mm. All right, because I want to put it in the corner. Mm. No, not the lamp. The lamp was fine where it was. <laughs> Come on. Ah, uh, where's the lamp? What's going on here? Lantern. There you go. Can't be cat. <laughs> oh, come on! You should have pushed me out of the way then. Right. It's like you better not put it in the middle of the room then. Here we can. There we go. Perfect. And oh, the radio. Radio. Oh. No. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta Crap. be like at the foot of the bed, and looking towards looking the upwards. head. Yeah, but I think it, then it's just gonna point towards the back of the. Oh no, it's good. <laughs> <All right. laughs> good stuff. Let's well, turn that's... it on. Welcome Horizons is currently playing. Oh, Wait welcome Horizons. <laughs> Let's turn off the light. Everyone in Animal Crossing was designed to hunt people. Can I not get in the bed because the radio's in the way? There we go. <laughs> rest my head for a little while? Yes. I would like to rest my head for a little while. I'm getting sleepy. And the first day of Animal Crossing is over. Indeed. We survived the wilderness. We did. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else survived with our help. For now, I mean. Who did anything. I was going <laughs> to say, we'll have to see what the first night brings. Aww. <gasps> Hell yeah. It's KK. Yeah. So, it looks like you decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there. Explore new frontiers. That's all the way right, daddy -o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah. But it takes... It, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling... I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot the more you share it with some friends. If that's your scene. Yeah. And an island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life and catch you later. Oh, so we're going to wake up to the middle of the night. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tom. So is Tom Nook dead and we are dreaming of him and he'll slowly be the crime mystery? No, of... Tom Nook's the raccoon. KK is the dog. Don't worry about what I say <laughs> and what I mean. <laughs> 
Okay, Bissell, <laughs> are you in there? <laughs> oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. You haven't, but we are going to end this episode abruptly. So we'll see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. Bye-bye.